Monroe and Jackson County as well. But here's something that's interesting, uh, maybe not in a good way. While there have been studies that show that there's a link between silicosis and workers in, with, with uh, those who have worked with silica sand and, and the dust particles, we haven't had industrial mining to the scale where we have studies, ambient air studies. In other words, if you live a mile down wind from the mine, what is the concentration of silica dust and what kinds of health issues would you have in the population that lives downwind from the mine? And we don't have these studies. And this is where things get a little bit hazy. Current monitoring does not detect particles under 10 micrometers. And the state DNR has only recently, they have not required, but they have asked new fracking uh, new, new facilities, processing facilities, to place 2.5 p.m. monitors that can detect smaller bits of silica sand, this fugitive dust that might cause health problems. We find that there's a one-year moratorium on new mines and mine expansions in Trempolo County, but current mines continue on and there are ways around this process, right? If a town or a city annexes a piece of land and is able to uh, get it under its zoning regulations, then it's able to um, start new mines. Here's a photo, whoops, there it goes again. Uh, there's a photo of some of these little bits. It's kind of hard to see here, but there are these sharp edges that you see with this fugitive dust. And they're very, very small. And what they're very good at doing is getting very deep into the lung where you can't exhale them back out. And over time, what they do is they tend to cut the lung tissue and cause lots of respiratory ailments. Another concern, and this is the one that was the big concern on the ground. I heard lots of folks who were worried about noise pollution. Lots of trucks deliver processed sand to railroad lines. And time and time again, when I heard about people who were complaining about the mines and the processing facilities, is just the constant truck noise. You have trucks coming in and out. If you live next to a railroad spur, you have to load the frac sand onto those large, uh, on, on those large uh, trains that are going to go out. And it causes a great deal of noise. There are transportation infrastructure concerns, the heavy wear and tear on roads. Now, part of this might be mitigated, that is lessened, because when counties negotiate with frac sand mining companies about opening a mine, sometimes arrangements are made to put funds into sort of like an escrow account, right? Um, and this is to be used for infrastructure upgrades and general road maintenance. But so far, as far as I know, this only applies to county roads because those are negotiations are between the county and frac sand mining companies. And so that means that if you